Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, it is uh, Saturday, March the nineteenth, in the year twenty. East of Saint Joseph. Twenty. Right, East of Saint Joseph. That is. There was an echo right here, wasn't it? Was it? It's a. Uh, um, glad everybody's able to make it. We've got a, a crowd of uh, nine here at the uh, at the table and several more that are joining via Zoom software. So thank you for taking your time this, um, to, to be with us today. Uh, we're gonna continue on. We, well, we started last week with, uh, Mary put together a, a, a document about five crowns. And uh, we got through two of them, the first two, the crown of life and the incorruptible crown. And then we're going to start out today with the third one, which is the crown of righteousness. Might as well go ahead and, and discuss them. The fourth one is the crown of exaltation. And the fifth one is the crown of glory. No, the fourth is crown. Sorry, I should have changed those. So we're going to. Oh, yeah, crown of exaltation, then crown of glory. It's, it's wrong on the second sheet I had. Okay. Somewhere else. Sorry. Okay. After reading them, then I realized that you exalt and then you glory. Right. Okay. So when we go back to do the actual reading, we'll, yeah. we'll make sure we do the right one. All right. So why don't we go ahead and start out with our entering in prayer, and then we'll uh, we'll get down to uh, uh, we had. I mean, it was exciting reading about this last week, and then yeah. confident it's going to be it's going to be exciting again this week as well. So, in the name of the Father and the Father, Son and the, and the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come to thy will. will. Come, come to reign in me. With this one act, I want to embrace my entire day. I want to embrace every thought, every word, every action, and all the people I meet. The things I have to do, all my duties, I want all to be in your most holy will. I want to put my whole day right from this instant in your most holy will, so that should I be distracted, or should there be things I forget, they may all be done in your will. Amen. Come, Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and they kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Remember your congregation, which you have possessed from the beginning. O Lord, hear my prayer. And let my cry come unto you. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray. O oh God, who has taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise and to ever rejoice in his holy consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary, can you maybe give us just a, an overview of everything again before we dive into the third crown? Just kind of how you, what you were thinking, and how this came about. And, and, uh, <laughs> what were you thinking? Yeah, no, it, it, it's not. Now don't take that like I never said she stole twenty five. That's right. Let's, let's not take it that way. I got my phone well, so uh, two weeks ago, I said to Mel that um, I would do the next um, cynical, <clears throat> and. Um, of course, uh, it's never us, it's the Holy Spirit. So late Friday night last week, um, five crowns. So it was literally 10 o'clock at night, Friday evening, <laughs> the five crowns. And so it's all scriptural about the five crowns. And it's also the catechism. And then you find it in the writings. But before, these are the crowns of when you entered into heaven at the moment of death. So last week, we talked about... Um, the crown of life, well, crown of life, because you entered it into death, you would be you would crown of life given to you because you are now in into eternity. And then the second one is the incorruptible crown, which um, it is about the incorruptibility about our bodies. So we know that our bodies will resurrect and then the life of the world to come. And this is the gift that you will, if, if, if chosen to live during seeing the resurrection of the body and the life of the world to come. It's, it's one of those things for me, praying the nice and creed, it was just like the final of the nice and creed. Resurrection of the body and the life of the world to come. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, but now after reading this, 
it's it's it brings you to your knees like you were chosen to live to bring down the gift mm -hmm. of living in the divine will reflected in the children of light um last week we celebrated transubstantiation weekend which is amazing that it was transubstantiation sunday as we talked about what the crown of incorruptibility that's what we will all be transfigured into is into pure light that's what adam and eve lived looked like before the fall and so we are living the effects of the act of creation whereas we can still reproduce human life but until this gift was given back to us because it was given to us in the beginning at creation so it's been given back to us we now are creating divine lives and that you're creating divine lives and jesus says in reading like when he came one of the missions that he was given to from father was um he had to create a divine life for every single soul that was ever to live has lived or will live so so they're already created and now him coming back this is his true return in us if you say yes and accept it true return to us to create divine lives again more and more divine lives more and more kingdoms for god to live in but when and you he, said that jesus created divine lives you're are you talking souls just for a purpose of clarification they're not asked right. they're, they're, so they're divine are lives souls. they're to go into all souls right whereas right. when we're we creating did, all of his acts lives. of course were divine but his his purpose was to redo and repair for all of our acts and suspended all those acts mm -hmm. so a divine life was created um, <coughs> because divine lives were not created since right. the fall of Adam. Right. So uh, Jesus came and what he did in his divinity was to create the divine lives that we were always supposed to be creating from, from the moment of creation. So it stopped with the fall of Adam because the divinity left Adam. <coughs> yes, he's living of the effects of the divinity. He has a heartbeat, he's breathing and so forth, but he's not living the divine life where he could create divine lives. We can reproduce human life, but you cannot reproduce uh, divine lives. Um, no one really will ever be able to grasp what divine life means right. until the moment of death. Until you, until it's fully here. Not the moment of death, but until it's fully here. So, so when you're saying Jesus created divine lives, you are talking the acts of the souls as well as the souls. That's kind of what I gather. Well, the souls were already created. But, yeah. So. So and we're separating the acts from. I'm not trying to be different. I'm just. No, no, we're, but we're not. Let's not separate different. acts from from us. Yeah. Right. Because we all have. We are a sum of acts. The one and the same. Right. Yeah. Right. And once you say yes to live in the divine will, you've entered into the prime act of God. So oh, it, yeah. your one is one act. So it's not a whole continuous the, act. The only reason I'm, I'm just trying to clarify it more from the standpoint you said we were to create divine lives, and. When you talked about it from the standpoint of Jesus creating divine lives, I was maybe thinking more of the souls part of things as opposed to the acts of those lives and everything. So what we're doing, we're not creating new individuals or new souls as Jesus did at in the prime act. We're actually creating the acts of those souls. You're, we're redoing, redoing repairing, recreating, and re ordering those acts. So that because again, there's there's a couple different things that that are kind of happening as usual. You know, he's got a lot of he's got a lot of balls in the, in the air that he's trying to, you know, that he's that he's working on. As I hear Mary talk, what, what I'm what I'm thinking is there's a there's a divine life that we were intended to live. Right. 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 When Adam fell, we we could not live that we divine life. There. We couldn't get there. Yeah. So so those lives were not as 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 Mary said they were they were they were created but they weren't they didn't get placed into even into the yeah. the into existence in the celestial world because Adam was first. It's a little different than 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 all the acts that were done. But when so so what I when I again this is me interpreting this and kind of trying to put a little twist on it when Mary's talking about Jesus creating divine lives. That that was part of, of what what he did was to create those divine lives that are available that are now available that are that are that are that are there in, right. in the celestial world. We're still focused on redoing our redoing acts mm -hmm. because because our purpose in, in 
in this in this realm is to redo and repair so that God getting everything that he deserved by and on the same scale by which he issued it. Mm-hmm. Then then the, the context of the divine life is 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 another another thing that's going on, so to speak. I mean, you can Unless yeah, I just... continue on with that. But the the everything that I've read on, on, on this is that um, in acknowledging that once we're operating in the divine will, and once we are, as our as our acts are, are um, Jesus is act for Jesus working through these acts that are that are repairing for for all the acts of a similar way for all people, past, present, and future. That is given back to God what He deserved. But then there's also everything that He planned beyond creation in the context of a divine life that will continue on through eternity. Because his kingdom will have no end. Because his kingdom will have kingdoms will have no end. Those kingdoms, each kingdom is the kingdom of a divine life, right? So it's uh it it is it's I just wanted to make sure that I think what's confusing is because I say we can create human life. So you think of a human being. Yeah, when you came back to that, I wanted to clarify for anybody that's listening. But a divine life is every act will be a kingdom, a full kingdom, a full stars, everything, and creation is fulfilled. Yes, it's that that creation changes. is not finished. No, because the divine lives of on, on, uh, the acts were not created. Were not uh, created divine. a divine level to create them to make them into divine lives, Perfect. which is a kingdom. Did that? John? I'm yeah, I'm good. I just wanted to have it explained a little better because so don't think of a human you, you jump to lives. you yeah. jump to even though humanity can still create lives. Yeah. And I think that kind of threw it a little sure. bit. I want to make sure everybody was clear on that. Sure. It's that not like you're creating like little yeah. tiny little babies. Little, tin yeah. tin, tin <laughs> right. Tin, right. Tin, right. The kingdoms, you're yeah. creating kingdoms of yeah. I just wanted to clarify that for everybody. Or have you clarified? I'd like to leave a message to make an appointment. <laughs> yeah, she was about to go into you the next reading. About the inc- <laughs> you forgot. Yeah, yeah. You were talking about the inc- well, no, you were going through the crown of life. Inc- inc- so, crown of righteousness. Again. Now we're on yeah. the crown of exaltation. So incorruptible crown. So in the writings, it says that you will, your body will not corrupt. Your body will not corrupt. And I would love to really try to wrap my head around that because, as we talked about last week, Louisa's body did corrupt right when they brought her if you were to think in the human level yeah. when they brought her casket out of uh the grave site and brought it into the church she was all bones mm-hmm. and then from from the church to under the, the altar people she was to all bones but then i'm wondering if it's what we were talking about last week like that's that reading of ezekiel i will breathe into the bones mm-hmm. and they will come back to life like he's got something like that's still going to be fulfilled that still has to be fulfilled yeah. so it's something that we're waiting upon with louisa of what does he have planned with louisa i mean when we read ezekiel mm-hmm. and you understand that she blessed mother is here as the queen of redemption and then louisa's here as the queen of sanctification and the two are holding hands around the throne it's not about her being canonized and recognized as a state, check, done, move on. It's her being the, the d- little daughter of the divine will and, and the greatest gift ever given to us and for her to be the first one to live in it. So, but, so incorruptibility is, um, you, you, you won't be, nothing, for, first of all, uh, spiritually, nothing can corrupt you. Satan can't come near right. you. Sin will never mm-hmm. touch you again. And just listening to Francis Hogan yesterday, if a soul in the divine will chooses to commit a mortal sin, it'll be a worse fall than Adam. Sure. Right. Sure. So right. that's that scares enough people like, oh, don't even into it. But then Jesus is like, uh, you're yeah, so you protected. Yeah. There's no way you're ever going to get out of this sea. You know, because your desire there is so much that your desire is overpowering anything that temptation can come to you. Um, and I think some people kind of, me, for instance, I just say some people, maybe it was just me, thought that once you come into the divine world, like temptation would no longer be there. It's actually temptation still there. You just can turn around laughing. Like, My will is risen. Go away. You know, 
you learn to laugh at it, but it's still there, right? The Satan absolutely is going to try his harder to mm-hmm. get you, but he can't. He can't. He can't. Right. And he, in the right, well, I think we're one of those octopus arms. So let's get back to uh, <laughs> crown of um, incorruptibility, the incorruptible crown. And you just think about transfiguration. Here's Peter looking at Jesus, uh, Moses, and Elijah, and I'll build three tents. I mean, he did not want to come down from that mountain. Mm-hmm. And, you know, just, just he, who, who would? You just saw something. Guess what? That's what we're going to see. Either we get the chance to live it here on earth, which we're hoping like all everything is happening to where it's coming. It's not even our hope. We know the kingdom's coming. Um, it's just that if we're going to see it in our lifetime. Uh, but you know, but you have knowledge of what, what it is. Does that make sense? We have knowledge of what it is. And anyway, so today we're going to go on to crown of righteousness. Um, two readings in it. But crown of righteousness, well, let's, let's do the readings. They're not, um, they're 1912 and 1915, so it's 19, 1926. Um, did, you want, did you want to read the, the scripture first, yeah. first and then the, yes, the yes, 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 yes. Let me just, let me just as a, to kind of add on to what John was saying earlier, there's one thing that as, as, as anyone reads and comes to learn and comes to study and, and, then, and then brings those knowledges in to operate, recognizes about these writings from Louisa is that that there are many layers of I'll say information maybe knowledges that are buried in these books and I I remember Father Brown always saying if you read something and and you can't quite grasp it just let it just let it go on because you'll come back and get to it today and and whether or not in this context of divine lives the, 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 the more that we read and the more we come to understand, the more that we live and operate in this, we'll come to see the, these kinds of things. Because still, even today, my, I, I'm speaking for myself, there, there are many times when I, ha- I find myself trying to put a human view on this. And this is just not human. This is a mystical, this is a mystical yeah. celestial um, um, book of knowledges that just goes and goes and goes and when you start talking about the kinds of things that Mary's talking about and that we talk about they you know that allows you to kind of go deeper on some of these things and 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 so for, for me at least I always just said okay I got no idea what that was about and but then you know what he talks about it so frequently and through these writings that ultimately it comes to pass and it will come to pass for everybody in terms of how that is but what God has got out here is it, we we sing songs like our God is an awesome God mm-hmm. and, and and you know what and it's a nice it's a nice song and it is true, <clears throat> but it's true and awesomeness and we use words she uses words in here and Jesus says to the immensity of the divine will, the the expanse he uses the you know the sea so frequently as that and and you think of and, and even that is a contained. Um, entity and so this even even the 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 world of god is an uncontained world and there's there's a lot of stuff going on in a, in a lot of places in god's world and we're right here learning about everything where we are right here and there's a lot of stuff to learn and so just don't you know don't get uh frustrated or hung up or or, or whatnot because it's the, the it's the, the knowledge is going to come it's going to come in you know, as frequently as you want to read and as frequently as you want to, you know, get this supplemental information. But don't, you know, if, 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 if you kind of scratch your head, then just leave it at that and then, and then charge, down, charge down the road and keep reading and keep, and keep and asking questions and talking about it, certainly. Yeah. And discussing kind of, the, the, hey, here's how I see this, which is what we obviously like to do. And here's how I see it. And then we'll, we'll get to that point. But I guess I just wanted to say that you, just that conversation could, could be viewed by anybody that's say on the on the uh, uh, on the video of like what are they talking about? Just it'll be okay. Just keep keep yeah. keep learning, keep learning, and it, and it will come to all of us. Sorry, I just wanted to add that. Sorry. Okay. 
So crown of righteousness, crown number three. It's for me. Second Timothy four through eight. Second Timothy four through eight. Oh, chapter four, yes, chapter four, verses eight. eight. Thank you. I'm still tired. Sorry. Do you want me to read it, or you want to? Are you and Mel going to do your thing? I was going to do the catechism, but there's I also one more. There's also one more scripture in here if you'd like. You yeah, go get the scripture. Okay, so Second Timothy um, chapter four, verse eight. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just Judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me but to all who have longed for his appearance. So this is the letter to 2 Timothy from St. Paul. And not only to me, but also to all who have loved, who have loved his appearing. Mine says, from now on, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have loved his appearing. Okay. So St. Paul always thought like tomorrow he's coming again. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, now we're 2000 years later and this is his true return. I think that's hard for people to grasp. Mm -hmm. Like there's, the world is still telling you like he's going to come on a cloud. He's going to make an appearance. So forth. Well, because they hold that center batch. So yes. how could right. Christ come to me? R correct. That's a good point. Right. How can but this is his true return. He comes back in his divinity as, as I left is how I will return. Mm -hmm. So it's because he says all who have loved his appearing, love his appearing. I love knowing that God is here. He's, he's here. He's here. And as the world is talking about rumors of wars and earthquakes and all the other stuff, you're at just great peace. He's here. Mm -hmm. He's here. No, just he's here. He's not. He's truly, this is his true return. Started with Louisa and it's gone now. It's 2022 and he is here. And, and, so, and, and when you think of that, when you, when you accept that or just understand it, just, just say understand it, accept it, accept it would be the difference of pulling it in. If you, if, you take, if you just take that concept and then listen to what's going on in the church, how mass is prepared, mm -hmm. even the writings that are in scripture, if you think of it in that terms, you go, you, you just sit, you go, wow, I've got a knowledge now. Yeah. I can see it. I can, I can see it. this is exactly what, this is exactly what they're talking about. Yeah. But it's, it's that getting down deeper a little bit into, into some understandings that the book of heaven helps us to, to look at scripture and the catechism and see how it just, it's all together. Well, it's now when you level. have it, yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. So, so what he's saying here, think about this. From now on, there is a laid up for me the crown of righteousness. So before the crown of righteousness would have been at the moment of your death, right? But now the crown of righteousness is here, meaning you are the judge. And he tells us, you are the judge. And it doesn't say here that it's at your death. No. It never no. says that. No, but it wasn't because you can only live the spirituality until you got into the mystical. And now the mystical, he's fully here. Right. Yeah. So it's hard, you can't assume. And mystical yeah. doesn't mean like Disney World or Disney. You know, it's not, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's not, yeah, it's, it's not kind of Lala. Yeah. It's the mystery of it. Right. The mystery has been, now been revealed. It's been no. revealed. The truth that's always been yes, there. Yes, it's always been revealed. The mystery doesn't mean they don't know. Unveiled. Right. Unveiled. And it, it is an acceptance that, that it's been unveiled, that it's yours to receive. Mm -hmm. It's a gift. I mean, from the knowledge. You have the knowledge. You have the knowledge to see it. Yes. yes. That's always been there. Yes. Oh, and that's the mystery is to see. To see. Right. Mm -hmm. It's the understanding. It's not seen. Always been there. Yes. <clears throat> but we know. Yeah. And what, what cracks a mystery? Mary just said this just a moment ago. What cracks a mystery? It's unveiled. Right. So when the, veil, when the veils are removed, 
which I, how many times does he talk about un, un, unmasking bells in the, in the writings? When bells get removed, then mysteries all of a sudden become clear. Clear. I understand. Yeah. One of the um, one of the uh, great resources we have is uh, a Francis Hogan, and I just finished Numbers. I don't know if anybody else has finished Numbers, but you truly understand that this is not me against another human being. This is truly a spiritual war. When you read, listen right. to Numbers and Exodus and Deuteronomy, those first five books, you really realize that it is a spiritual battle. It's like totally they, spiritual. They yeah. knew that the Israelites were not their enemy. It was their God who mm -hmm. was their enemy. And they wanted to take down their God. Mm -hmm. um, they, you know, so sure, they used the Israelites, but the battle wasn't against man versus man. So when you read this, um, from now on, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have loved his appearing. You're the righteous judge where you understand it's not man it's against appearing, man. Yeah. So why would I judge you? Why would I judge you? What possibly could I judge you? You don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, when we're reading things of Canaan, the Canaanites versus the Israelites, it wasn't man against man. It was the Canaanites' God against God. our yeah. God. Well, the Canaanites' yeah. God is Satan. Because any other God is Satan, period, mm -hmm. against God. And then you realize that's what it's always been since the but fall of Adam. Today, yeah. From the absolutely. fall of Adam. Our and God so, has become money. I mean, our God has become power. Our God has become everything. Pride and, right. and all that. Right. And, if he were and I don't need him. Yeah. So it's our God guy. against. I've okay. got everything yeah. I need. All my comforts are here. But then you truly understand Jesus on the cross. Father, forgive them. For they know not yeah. what they're doing. It is not them who's putting me to death. It's Satan trying to put me to death. But yeah. by Jesus saying, Father, forgive them. For they know not what they do. That was the crushing of Satan. Because he knew he had turned the high priest against him. He turned his people against him. He turned everybody against him. Where all the crowds were saying, crowd, crucify yeah. him, crucify yeah. him. And yet on the cross, he says, Father, forgive them. For they know not what they were doing. At that moment, Satan was crushed. But let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. When we sit there and say and watch our church as it's going through the passion. And we lay upon ourselves upon that cross, which is the gift. And say, Father, forgive them for they know not what they're doing. That's the crown of righteousness. And you get to do it now mm -hmm. versus yeah. afterwards praying yeah. for them. Yeah. You're doing it now. And it's, it is a deeper, stronger understanding of it to where how incredible it is to live in our time with everything going on. But yet you know that you have the crown of righteousness. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter who's doing what. That's not who the battle is. Mm -hmm. So, all right, next reading. So we're going to do Surat what? There's oh, Surat, Surat, Surat 15, Surat. 6, and then. I didn't have this. Then the right. Are you about to say that? Are you kidding me? Okay, I got it. Are you ready there? I don't, I don't really like mine. Okay, it just says Surat 15, uh, chapter 15, verse 6. He will find gladness. And a crown of rejoicing, and will acquire an everlasting name. He will find gladness in a crown of rejoicing, and will acquire an everlasting name. Um, the title of this uh, Sarah chapter fifteen is "Freedom of Choice and Its Consequences." He will find gladness in a crown of rejoicing. And will acquire an everlasting name. <clears throat> Everybody who enters heaven gets an everlasting name. Guess what your name has been given to you? Do you know what your name is? Can I tell you what I read today? And I'm doing the Wait daily minute. readings. So forgive me. I'm, I wish I could find it. But I'm trying to do like March 19th. And then I have like January. End of January. And I'm trying to catch up. But... I'm catching up too, Michelle. It's okay. So I can't like find it right now in this moment. But anyway, I read it this morning. And he's, um, and it spoke to me because of something else. But now that you're saying this, do we know what our name's going to be? And I don't know if this is correct in what you're saying. However, he tells Louisa that anyone who enters into this, just like any covenant that was given, the names were changed. Abraham, Abraham and anything was changed. Anyway, to Israel, he said that um, anyone who 
enters and lives in the divine will, their name is now changed to my fiat. Yes. Capital M, my fiat. That's so, what I mean. Is that what you're going to say? That's it. Stop. <laughs> That's our name. My girl. You're his creation. You're his redemption. You're his sanctification. You're his fiat. And it's stamped on our head. Fiat. And Blessed Mother. So I got to find it. Just like blessed that. Mother has come and marked us all with the name fiat. And it is a crown of rejoicing. Can't do anything but rejoice. I mean, this is. So you get stumbled up on a little bit of a reading. Yeah. Right. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Keep deal. going. Big deal. Yeah. You're going to. I'm reading. I read February 24th, 1933. And there's two, volume 34 and 35. And I'm reading it. I'm like, he totally explains, like, yeah, you live in the divine volition, but you have to deal with people who are living in the human volition. And and did not expect them to live in the and, and you will respond to them in the divine volition, but on the level of the human volition where they can understand. And by the way, you're giving them merit for what they're doing in their human volition because they want to do good as well. Mm -hmm. They it just don't yeah. know. And isn't that what Jesus did in his humanity? He did. Yeah. He and lived, he's doing he, it again. He enough. lived in the he had he had a he lived in the divine will. He is in his interior was operating in the divine will. But his human and his humanity on the outside, though, had to deal with the human yes. that he was encountering yeah. this whole time. And it, so you under, so coming to I'm so sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. Go ahead. I was going to say earlier when you talk about the readings, you've read in a volume one through thirty six. I've never. I've tried. I'm still on volume. I finished volume two, and I'm still on the first volume. Three. Try to do it in order. Even. <laughs> yeah. And. Uh, but that's just not how. I'm married, that, but that's how we, that's who you are. Yeah, I know. It's moving. I it's it's, it's stop, a moving right. scatter. Okay, yeah. so that's that's, that's okay. okay. That's but okay. But I so I read so but but, but understanding volume thirty three the other or this uh thank you J, February twenty fourth reading I understand you understand one through ten so much better. Mm -hmm. You understand what you're who. I hate to use the words dealing with. You, you understand that they're living in the human volition because mm -hmm. you were living in the divine volition and that you understand how to have the uh, a pause of a reaction. You will understand the reflex within cool. inside of you because you're still human. To allow them to be who they are. But you understand that yeah. reaction and you react every time is, is lessened mm -hmm. to where you're like, okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Of course I'll do that. No problem. You know, and you just, that. Yeah, there's no battle. So you're not trying now, to bring them. That's the crown are. of righteousness. Yeah. yeah. And how incredible you were called. He is. Do you understand what he said? You're called my fiat, God's fiat. What is his fiat? Creation, redemption, and sanctification. It's January 24th, 1937. So, of course, you got the crown of righteousness on it. You were there when you were creating those souls. What are you going to do? level at a whole different level mm -hmm. all right so that that tiered session happened but it's all right well it's so emotional just yeah, to think that no, god is no, calling no, he is there's a there's a we all going for tattoos after this thing <laughs> <laughs> not a great connotation to it but when you understand it how it is in terms of living in the divine will it takes on a whole new right um, right just as, well, you most people that you think most people when they when they hear the word righteousness or righteous what do they immediately do they put the word self like, like, yeah. yes. Yes. like you're better like, than oh, me. Yeah. you're self-righteous yeah. 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 self yeah. yes. yes. rather right. rather than that it's a way of understanding and a way of living. Right. And it is in, in, in this world of the divine will, his, there is no self in front of it. So there is no, no it's Jesus. Yeah. There, there is no, there is no uh, I am holier than now and I am better than you because that ain't the way that it is. It he says this in the, one of the writings, he said, when they understand that I that it's me, <laughs> the king down and died on the cross for them, that I'm their judge. They're at peace. Mm -hmm. They're at peace. They're just. Oof. Here's the here's your the following up on the catechism that you said. It's twenty eight forty three. 
2843, and, and this is this is in the Christian prayer section, it looks like. Thus, the Lord's words on forgiveness, the love that loves to the end, become a living reality. And this is part of the, this is part of the, what says prayer, the, the Christian prayer, but it's the, uh, the Our Father in the section is, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Thus, the Lord's words on forgiveness, the love that loves to the end, become a living reality. The parable of the merciless servant, which crowns the Lord's teaching on ecclesial communion, ends with these words. So also my heavenly father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. It is there, in fact, in the depths of the heart, that everything is bound and loosed. It is not in our power not to feel or to forget an offense, but the heart that offers itself to the Holy Spirit turns injury into compassion and purifies the memory in transforming the hurt into intercession. <sighs> It is not up to us. What does it say? It is not in your power. It is not in our power not, not to, to feel or, or to forget an offense. But the heart that offers itself to the Holy Spirit turns injury into compassion. Because you understand and, and, and understand now with these writings that you understand that all sin came from the fall of Adam. Mm -hmm. That there would be sin if Adam hadn't fallen. Satan would not have power mm -hmm. if Adam had not fallen. People would not be able to give them over to the power of Satan if Adam had not fallen. Mm -hmm. So, and that's not a new knowledge. It's just a deeper understanding of the knowledge. So when you look at self right, when you look at self righteousness, when you look at righteousness or, or the ability to judge, it's all because of the fall. And that the hurt has. You read scripture. You read Genesis. You've got Jacob and Esau. And the one parent favored one over the other. Who does that? And that was, that's Genesis. You've got Cain killing it, um, yeah. Abel. Mm -hmm. that, that was the, mm -hmm. come on. Come on. It's you all know, from the falls. Right right so that's what Jesus is saying. Father, yeah. forgive them for they know not right. what they're doing. They had no idea how mm -hmm. bad the fall was of Adam. And that, that's why you, you the crown of self, of righteousness. I mean, that line turns injury into compassion. Yeah. Mm. That's everything right yeah. there. That's where, that's where you, you flip it. That's forgiveness. Yeah. That's, that's that getting you on. cannot attain on your own. Mm -hmm. yeah. No. Oh. It says it right there in the cup. Mm -hmm. Oh, you. So how do you do it? You, yeah. We know that, uh, what, what, what is that? What is that a definition of though, right? It's peace. Yes. And yeah, that's what peace. that's what comes from. And it talks about uh, I'm pushed away from it, but I'll I'll I didn't push away from it. It says um, uh, in fact, in the depths of the heart, everything is bound and loosed. It is not our power not to feel or to forget an offense. We're, we are going to feel yes. and we yep. will remember offenses. Yes. That's what it's saying here. But the yes. heart that offers itself to the Holy Spirit, this is the Holy Spirit's fiat. Yes. We are talking about our hearts. We know in our minds, but we're really talking about our hearts. And that is what we have, have, mm -hmm. have professed to be about. And the cynical is, is having these knowledges move, not just to read them and know them and can, and can point back and forth and look at this this passage in scripture and that passage in the catechism, it's about actually incorporating them inside us. So there's a movement into our hearts. And he says, but the heart that offers itself to the Holy Spirit turns injury into compassion and purifies the memory in transforming the hurt into intercession. That is nothing but peace. Yeah. And a way of, it describes the way, a way of operating. Right. That yeah, because it, it, 
Because a lot of this, he, he didn't tell you, do this, do that, no. do that, do that. In this whole book, if you think about how he talks to her, he describes what it looks like. He describes what it looks like. So by telling you what it looks like, he's telling you that it's a way, in some regards, and, and we're, we shouldn't be self-measuring, but in a way, it's, it allows you to kind of to say, well, am I looking like this? Well, maybe I still have some more work to do. I still need to have some more movement here yeah. out there from my head to my heart. Well, and he tells us, she tells us in the writings, the greatest gift to a soul is the soul to know thyself. Right. Mm -hmm. And so there are things that we have, um, um, I don't even know how to say it. Like if you deal with uh, the issue of, of, please, one of the vices versus a virtue, right? Lack of patience. Um, okay, well, okay, I'm seeing this. I am I'm dealing with a lack of patience. You're not saying make me virtuous and patience and right. give me more patience. You're just saying you're recognizing yourself. That's that pause. That's that pause between reaction and reflex, right? Reflex, somebody um, doesn't do something as fast as you want them to do it. Th that, that's your reflex to kind of like, but then the reaction is like, okay, all right. Okay, you know, compassion. Why why didn't it happen when you thought it was supposed to happen? Well, this person was doing such and such and such and such, or this happened or whatever happened. So you can be enter into compassion for that person and then you understand you have a knowledge of it. And in the real operator of that, it doesn't necessarily mean that you don't use similar words that you would have used automatically right. in right. your reflex. But what it means is you use them in a different way, in a different tone of voice, and, sure. it, and it comes across in a different, instead of attack, 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 right. so to speak, it, it is coming from compassion and and um, uh, intercession. It's, it's, so, so it's a, that's kind of a real world. No, what you dealing. just said, that's exactly what, the difference between virtuous and living, being the, my fiat, it means that you are his word. Right. You are his word. When he says you are now, the name is my fiat. His fiat is his word that created everything, redeemed everything, and sanctified everything. Mm -hmm. So in that moment, it's not like, oh, I get a chance. I get a chance to be patient. It's you are not a virtue. You are virtuous. You are the word. You are all virtue. And you understand, yes, all, but all the be attitude you are the be attitude of god you are the attitude of god as in what is god peace righteousness incorruptible he's all the crowns exaltation glory he's everything so your reaction your reflexes if you stop your toe you're going to scream right you know i got a paper cut from cardboard just how oh, it would hurt god. right but then you're like, oh, thank you. <laughs> you're replacing yeah. anger. You're replacing yeah, it doesn't exist. It, and patience and all with humble, with, with the virtues of humility, of humility even, and, yeah. and compassion and Correct. love and the fiat and tolerance. All you're that. replacing it with the fiat. And remember in the beginning when we first started coming to cynicals, you started into the writings, you stub your toe with your word fiat. Yeah, yeah. So now, but then you really understand yeah. why you're why what you become in the habit of to get into the knowledge of you are the fiat. You are the fiat. They're watching you. How do you this is how Jesus is going to react? And if correction is needed, correction is given. God did not not correct. I know it's a double, double negative. Mm -hmm. I know, but it was fine. He corrected vipers. Get behind me, Satan. Yep. He corrected when correction was needed. He's bigger. He's much bigger. Yeah. God is bigger than all that. Yes. He wills. No. Right. But he corrected is what I'm trying to yeah, say. Need correction, so if you need correction, you correction and right. you don't question it because that's still your well, it's still your righteousness, not self-righteousness, but it is no. the help them yeah. out. Correct them when it, the back. correction is needed. We don't correct in this world because we're afraid of what? <clears throat> Someone's opinion of yeah. us. Our audience. What they're Our say. audience. What are they going to say? Or they're going to rumor? Or are they going to gossip about me? So forth. I'm telling you what Mel just said. Understand what he just said. 
you are no longer looking at virtues as individual things. You are virtuous. You are virtue itself. You are the beatitude yeah. of God. And, and For what? You are the fiat. And since we're talking about crowns, when, when you get to the end of the, 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 the tenth uh, volume, which is really the end of his conversation of virtues, the various virtues and all that he describes about them. How does he end it with? What does he end it with? We, what does he crown you with? He crowns you with the knowledge that you're not, we are not in a single virtue. Similar, mm -hmm. similar, we don't exhibit, so, someone operating in the divine world doesn't exhibit a single virtue. It, as, as operating in the divine will, you are all virtue. So the you're crown right. becomes the knowledge that Oh, I don't have to. I don't have to focus on what am I going to focus on? Humility. Right. Yeah. You're yeah. going to focus on patience. Yeah. Well, that. and that's what he says in the writings yeah. is that you know while the saints were, there, they were, their in, their intentions and how they operated were were generally focused on one of the virtues. But at, the knowledge becomes is that by in your heart doing exactly what the catechism was talking about, that the uh, that, that 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 you go beyond that, and that's what he and that's what he says in the in the writings as well. Speaking of writings, should we go to our yes. <laughs> our first one? This one is um, April tenth, nineteen twelve. I think right, April tenth, nineteen twelve. Who would like to read this? <clears throat> I can read it. I guess slow. So, oh, am I a fast oh, reader? You're just oh, so yes. smart. Patient, <laughs> smart people can read faster than patience, the slow. Right. Uh, not so smart people. Plus, so there's just little words that he throws in here that that if you read fast, you kind of like miss them. There's a whole message in that one. This is I wish my readers here. This in, in, this is for you too. This this reading, the Divine Mercy. You have a question. On April 10th, 1912. The souls who have more trust will shine more in the crown of the divine mercy. More, you, more trust. More trust. Doesn't say, doesn't say what does your say? Trusting souls are the outpouring and the amusement of the love of Jesus. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I don't know. Darn. <clears throat> yeah, I don't have that at all. Continuing in my usual state, as soon as blessed Jesus came, he told me, my daughter, the souls who will shine the most like bright gems in the crown of my divine mercy are the souls who have more trust because the more trusting they are, the more they give space for the attribute of my mercy to pour into them all the graces that they want. On the other hand, the soul who does not have real trust closes the graces within me, remaining poor and unequipped. While my love remains contained within me and suffers greatly. Stop. One second there. Mm -hmm. Souls who have more trust, because the more trusting they are, the more they give space for the attribute of mercy to pour into them all the graces that they want. The more you make room for God, the more he gives you, the more you give out, the more room you make, the more he gives you, the more you, it's, it's that circle of, of knowledge and give and take that we, that we talked about before. The more trusting they are, you know, we talked about that trust, like it's not just Jesus, I trust in your mercy, it's <clears throat> what are you saying? And it's the, the ocean of mercy, right? The ocean of mercy, as in it's never ending. So the moment of your death, Hail Mary, full of Holy Mother, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death, should not just be, you know, to end the Hail Mary. Our Blessed Mother is praying for you now and at the hour of your death. And that hour of your death is the last writing in the volumes. Everybody is given, every single soul is given their hour of their death to say yes to mm -hmm. God's mercy. And yes, scripture tells us that there will be souls that da 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 da, but that's not where you're supposed to go. It's like trust fully in your mercy that it doesn't matter what they've done, 
you are a forgiving Lord. And not even just about forgiveness, right? Isn't mercy have more of a deeper meaning than just forgiveness of sin? I look at Michelle. Like, it's his but, mercy, right? Have mercy on me, Lord. It's not always have mercy on me, forgive my sins. Have mercy on my Lord. On my Lord. It's, it's, think of a parent and mercy, which you have for your child, right? In the middle of the night when they're throwing up all over the cell. You know? Uh, uh, we'll leave here on fire. Do you wake me up? Vomit, go get a towel. Find uh, the toilet. The, the, the Okay, so maybe that's but a listen, good example, but I'm just but saying, listen. like, his mother, mercy is that a parent gets up and takes care of the child. The best example last week, volunteering, and the woman comes in at 10 o'clock at night. I'm at 10 20 at night. I'm tired. Um, will you make me a bowl of soup? And I'm mm -hmm. like, sure. And Jesus is like, Are you going to say no to me coming in the door from work, making me a bowl of soup? To me, that's mercy. Of course, yes. I'll make you a bowl of soup. That's just straight love right there. Mm -hmm. But that's what I think mercy is. I don't think it's just about forgiveness of sins. No. And I think that, you know, we have the divine. You can have one without the other. No, it is love and mercy. It's because it's all love. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. However you want to couch it. Uh -huh. But I'm just thinking like mercy. mercy or... Okay, so I could yeah. you can shrink, you know. So <laughs> right. I just take mercy as more than just forgiveness of sins. It's yes. also just that outpouring of love is mercy. Unconditional love. Yeah. Isn't that what he showed us on the cross? Well, and to have trust that the number one thing is he wants the only thing, the one thing he wants from all of us is our human will. Yeah. So you have enough trust in him, mercy, whatever, trust that I'm going to give you my human will, even though I, can, I like this. And I like to control. That. I like I don't to want control. To I'm not sure. God, you can handle it as well as I could handle it. Well, I don't want to suffer. We That's think right. that sometimes right. I'm going to give her my will. Oh, you're going to give me cancer. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to make me broke, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to live on the street. For some reason, our mind goes there. They want to be in the driver's seat. That's well, why there's a country song that suffering. says, Jesus, take the wheel. Yeah. Well, no, everyone wants to take their own wheel. Yeah. I got this. Don't, yeah. you know, you can be over here and I'll go to church on Sunday and I'll sure. maybe do that. But I do have, so is it, do you have trust? And mercy, whether it's in his love, able to forgive you, you've got your sin banner, whatever it is, I think mercy does have a lot of different yeah. connotations so and true. things that they can say. But then on the other, the whole, the soul who does not have true trust. Yeah. Then my love remains constrained. I cannot do. He says, just move out of the way and let me do. Yeah. But he can't. When you take this line, go down this road with me just a second. When you take this line, because the more trusting they are, how do we how, how do we gain more trust and more trust and more? It's not because trust is not a level. It's, it's correct, right? It is a continuation of level. But I'm going back to many, many, many weeks ago on the, on items that we had. But what is the essence of of, of, of gaining more and more and more trust. This is not a quiz because I want you to answer my answer. Of this. We go more trust and more trust comes comes from what? Trust. It comes from confidence. It does. Right. From right. It right. comes from confidence of knowing the truth, and therefore, the, the, yeah. the, 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 because we had that whole session on confidence and, yeah. Yeah. and the writings about confidence and. And, and how how that it, confidence breeds confidence. So we're not talking, you know, self confidence human, yeah. and human confidence, but it's confidence that that just everything we talked about earlier is is based upon confidence mm -hmm. about the the the, the knowledge that we are that we are gaining and pulling into our lives. It's because of confidence, mm -hmm. and, and that confidence is going to bring bring is bringing trust. trust. So if we go, gee, how can I trust God more? Have confidence that what He's telling you is the truth. Mm -hmm. I think the confidence is the proof. That's proving to God that you trust. That's a, good, that's a very good point. Very good point. But you're right. You're right. So, but you gain that confidence by the more you read. Mm -hmm. By the mm -hmm. more you read and, and taking the writings. <clears throat> Look, you can read these 20 times 
and not living the divine life. That's right. So there's a huge difference between living and, you can know, and living. You can know everything that's in there, and you can cross-reference, and you can be able to say this one, this begets that, and that begets that. Right. But that's nothing more than the academic side. Sure. What's in and this it's because Michelle said I'm, I'm finishing 24s. I'm also doing in March. And I laugh because I'm, yeah, I just finished February 24th the other day, I'm, you know, but that's because it's like right now you're living it, yeah. you know, you've read the writings. It's the same as learning scripture, it, right? It is. And not living that walk. Correct. Yes. Well, it is. Correct. You can rattle off scripture. Worse. Worse. It's worse to Jesus. Well, yes. talk about a slap in the face. Yeah. Talk about it's not trusting. It's sacrilegious. Yeah. Talk about not trusting right. what you've read. Yeah, yeah. So like I told you, it's like you mentioned about mortal sin. If you commit a mortal sin, that's sacrilegious. I mean, it's almost the same thing here. If you live in the divine will. If you live in divine will. But, you can't but, but I mean, yeah. I mean, if you're reading and you're not trusting it. Sure. Kind of, I gave you this. Sure. Why are you not using it? Sure. Sure. You know, that's worse. You know. It's because they can't believe. Yeah. And we, that it can happen. Yeah, that it can happen. Yes. And it definitely can't happen to you. Because... We know what you've done, you know. Well, but all you have to do, interestingly, all you have to do is be the attitude yeah. or change the yeah. attitude to say, what if it can happen? To <laughs> yeah. You? What if it can yeah. happen? And why not me? Why can't And do why this? not me? And if you take that attitude, then it's amazing how the information flows, yeah. how the knowledge is fall. Because, and how you see more than you can see it. It's it's that yeah, I just I just want to put the stiff arm out. There. Yeah, and then and you understand from what you just said how you are the child of light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you've let everything fall inside of you. So you are white. You are incorruptible. You are a child of light. You are you are my fiat. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for getting yeah. us here. Okay. <laughs> A short reading. <laughs> yeah. In order not to suffer so much and to be able to freely pour out my love, I deal more with those souls who trust than with the others. With these souls, I can pour out my love. I can play. I can cause loving contrasts since there is no worry that they may feel ashamed or afraid. Rather, they become more brave and take everything in order to love me more. Therefore, trusting souls are the outpouring, the amusement of my love, the most graceful and the richest ones. That sentence about offense, taking offense and being fearful, I think that's mm -hmm. um, people are afraid of being overwhelmed by what God's going to ask of them. They're afraid of suffering. They think that that's going to go But yet, but yet, but yet, what to, but yet, what to the, what to, what's the, what's the say? You know, they're going to be concerned about what, what God's going to ask of them, but yet, on the other hand, um, at at the at, you know at the Thursday night study, what what would be what will be said? God will never give you more than you can, you right. can handle. Right. So how does that's such a that's so we a have to trust that. It's a contradiction. Which I right? kind of think yeah. that is. I disagree with that phrase. People always say that because I always think, well, no, he can, but then he relies on he's going to have you rely on him to mm -hmm. get through it exactly. Right. He will give you things that you can't handle because we can't we can't handle anything. You're right. But if you rely on him, you then you can go can. through anything. Yeah. So he's got kind of, and I always thought that phrase was kind of funny because I was like, really? Yeah. He will give you something you, you can't can handle because he wants your bend, knees to right. bend mm -hmm. to rely on him. You can do all things through him. That's right. That I believe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you really, okay. And, and, and because they don't know, they don't. I didn't know until reading these that everything is animated by him. Right. You were never doing it without yeah. him anyways. Yeah. Once you come into the knowledge, you're like, oh, I'm animated mm -hmm. by you. <laughs> then you truly, oh. Because uh -huh. in the beginning, in the beginning, when you start reading this or the way that you describe it, people think like, so we're just puppets and God's just right. up to no. Oh. You understand that you're animated by him. Like you can't do it without him, period. And the more you trust that, that it's him in you doing it, then you can handle anything. It's the more the realization of who is doing it. And he's always been doing it. I read yeah. just, I think this morning also, that 
any good act that is accomplished by on, even on a human will. Yeah. He puts life into that act, yep. but it's not a divine life. I mean, it has God, right? Because yeah, well, the, anything yeah. we do, right? The human act will be of time and circumstances. Right. It will live for and a it's period suspended, of time, but then right. it dies. But he's still, God is involved in every yeah. act that we do. Good. Well, God has brought that act to you. Right. It's part of your kingdom, which is your right. life, that you have control over. Right. And we've read in multiple readings here, but he talks about, you know, he he brings that to life. That mm -hmm. that he created for you, mm -hmm. he brings to life at this for this time and circumstance. And so these acts that are coming your way, uh, he brings them to you. Right. Now the question is, how are we going to react gonna to them? Are we going to react by giving him the fact that he he is a creator of this? Are we going to say, I love you, I love you, I adore you, I glorify right. you? Or are you going to say, man, I love the sunshine today. I think I'm going to go out and do what I want to do or whatever it happens to be without acknowledging <clears> how <throat> it is even here in the first place. <laughs> Is that Hawaiian? Is that a Hawaiian? No, I was just taken very mystically from what you had said because I the gift understand the, the gift. Not that you don't understand the gift. I'm just prepared. Yeah, explaining this to myself. What I was just received when you were talking. So understand that. So in Saint Luke's Gospel, when he's looking over Jerusalem, this third hour of the Passion, he's looking over Jerusalem and he's crying. Oh, Jerusalem, how much I have loved you. If you take that into the mystical level, he's saying this in the writing. Oh, Jerusalem, us, how much I have loved you. And yet you are still giving me this pain. And so he says the, the harvest is full, but the labors are few. And then you understand the few labors are the children of light who will stop having him suffer because we are all trust and in our acts are creating the divine lives there will be no more poor there will be no more sick there will be no more death there will be no more dying nothing it will end if the children of light come into the field and our mission has always been to find the children of light to let them know on a deeper mystical level this is a gift never ever before given and we have to do we must do. We must do. You don't question anymore. You just do because it is time. It's not 100 years from now. It's not, I don't even think it's 20 years from now. It is now to do what we need to be doing. That's what this, right? My daughter, one who lives completely, oh, wrong way. Let's highlight it. Just, you live completely in his will. Say yes, my fiat, my fiat, my fiat. It's not just a stamp or glow in the dark. He's saying, You're my word. The labors are few. He only needs a few. Yes, that's I mean, but right, he can only do it through us. Right. He can. Well, I should say he can. That's not right. He he chooses to do it through us. He chose. It is our mission. He chose a long time ago. Right. Before the time even flew out into yeah. existence, he chose. Yeah. Knowing what was going to happen, he chose. Now is the time. So it's not just reading the thing on mercy and, oh, today I'm going to. No. It is completely trust into yourself out of completely everything is the only way to show that you fully trust in him. Mm -hmm. And I think you've when you go through this and you live your life and no matter what you're dedicated to, you never get, this is, I guess, maybe me. I've never gotten that fully into anything as I am in this. Yep. This is so much deeper, so much richer, so much, uh, you, you know, we talk about the covenant or whatever you want to do. I mean, this is it. This is your whole existence. And it's a, it's a constant awareness, um, attentiveness and that. And like I said, I've, you get involved in things at different times in life and, you know, but it's nothing has ever taken me over the way this has. Yeah. And that's the way it, it has to be for all of us. If this is, this is it. This is right. all there is. It's the difference in the language of her immaculate heart will triumph. For us saying her immaculate heart is triumph. It's 
child in you. Is, yeah. Now, uh, but you should ask. Yes. Yeah, and it's. Um, I think John, one of the things that you recognize, and you, you you describe that conversion process that 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 we go through, um, or that that many go through, some do not. Um, whereby you, you 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 move from the, your initial your initial view of, of these writings. I think al al almost everybody has, and there's some that don't, I guess. But uh, uh, you you read these things and you get very attached to them. They're, they're, I mean, how can you not be? Yeah. Yeah. But they they rise to a level of being a devotion. And what you're talking about is the recognition. That this is more than a devotion. Mm -hmm. This is a way of life, yeah. and therefore you just describe what it is to operate as the mm -hmm. way of life. That it becomes. It's not. Right. It's not what you look forward to next Thursday night. Right. And the next Thursday night at six thirty, and the next Thursday right. night at six thirty. It's what you look forward to the next step that you take, yeah. and the next breath that you take, and the next eye view that you look around at. Mm -hmm. And that's um, that, that's that is the, the to me at least. I, I would throw out that. That's the definition of the constancy that he talks about. That this is not just a periodic. Yeah, this is On a your constant. Schedule. This is a constant every act of your life. Yeah. Your new thing born. that you're doing. Yeah. Your newborn. Yeah. Your new every born. act is a newborn. And every act is it's a newborn because you're born into this act, and this next act comes in front of you. Yeah. And so it, and so that's a that's a great visual mm -hmm. of of take of, 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 of a description, at least in my mind, of how. The recognition through trust and then through confidence because of the knowledge that comes from the trust and from what we from what we, what, what he tells her in his writings of uh, it, it's the it's the constancy and the consistency and it and you're right it becomes your it, it becomes the existence it yeah. becomes what you are and you, you see are. so much you are you finally and have you become see, what you were created and you to can be. see you can see so much you 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 do stop to smell the roses, so mm -hmm. to speak. And when you stop to smell the roses, just just looking out at creation, you can you can see everything that God is doing. And it's an incredible thing yeah. that's out there. And it's not just the positive. Yeah. Too. No, it's, it's the negative, negative as well. Yeah. And I'm, when I say that, I'm talking about the people that just turn away from this or the people that haven't been exposed but don't don't understand. And, it's like, and they oh, might my. not. And that's, that's yeah, not that's even maybe our... the way it's always... Of course it is. It, 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 and it's to, to, to Jesus cured 10 people of leprosy. Yeah. And only, and only one came back. And God the Father knew that that broke his heart. So the next day, God gave him a uh, healing with a man just over rejoiced yeah. in his oh, healing. Yeah. Right. We see that. Right. So to your point, the other day, you know, I had, I stayed late at work and then I had to drive stuff to a FedEx. And I was, I was a little bit grumpy because I was tired. Right, so I'm grumpy. I put things in the car. Well, I get to drive direct west, and this was Thursday night. And I don't know if any of you guys saw the sun, or maybe it was just yeah. for me. Could have just been for me. But here, the sun was just orange and yellow, but it was raining in front of it. Mm -hmm. So, like, you can look directly at it. And you're like, and I remember, I love it when the show said, "Show it off." Aren't you? <laughs> All of a sudden, you bust out laughing, and then he was like playing hide and go seek with the sun. And he's like, "Oh, yep, oh." oh. Because he knew what you're tired, yeah. but you said you, you, but you do what you need to be doing because I know where you're at, you know, and he plays with you. He plays yeah, he with you. Said that. So we don't just look at the sun. He's like, oh, that's a beautiful sunlight. It's like, right. no, you right. go into the act of that sun. He's like, let me show you how much, but it was, a, I've never seen I that like that before where orange and yellow, but you knew it was raining in front of it, far off in the distance. And then he like he took the clouds where the clouds like em embraced the sun and he was just showing up and I knew it was just for me. That was my I know you're tired, daughter, but we're gonna enjoy keep the going, drive. Keep you. going, yeah. I've got you. That's living in his will. Yeah. Okay, I think we got Madeira. Yeah. Oh. Did you have something to say add to Madeira? Um, well, I, I just wanna offer a perspective. Um I, I don't know. I think this reading is more of a non-issue for the children of light, um, because at least for me, trust trust was more during like the the kingdom of redemption, living there. You know, Jesus, I trust in you. But I think once you move into sanctification, 
where you're living the gift of faith in your baptism, like faith, hope, and love, your lamp is full and the bridegroom is ready to receive the bride. And from there, you're living of love and love is trust. There's a parable in, in the Bible where the, there's some, some of the bride, brides did not have enough lamp in their oil in their lamp and they, yeah. they did not develop faith, hope and love, the virtues and so forth. But I think once you children of light jump into sanctification, we jump from trust to love and love is trust. But for the crown of righteousness, the trust, she's right. And for our own lives, right? We're living full love, mercy. But also understand the crown of righteousness, the crown of righteousness, it's the righteousness of his mercy as well. And your trust is not is also into knowing him being pure love and his mercy for all souls oh. from Adam fallen to the last mm -hmm. one. And it's an understanding of the deep sea of mercy. In that writing as a child of light with the crown of righteousness, who do you not love? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, I not to harp on this, uh, um, but I will for just, yes. just a moment. Uh, what the what the dear is, hey, Paul, give me one second and we'll, we'll, we'll thank you. What, what, Nira, what the dear just talked about is you know, trust is behind her, mm -hmm. love is where she's at, right. And it, it 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 she's absolutely right. There's I don't think anybody that's that's that is here operating in in or in, in, in these sessions that we're yeah. that we're all trying to right. trust is really not an issue. Yeah. You're out and Madeira's yeah. absolutely yeah. right. And and it, and we we get to the point of recognizing that love is what we're what we're what we're becoming because faith, open love, the greatest of these is love, right? Mm -hmm. And God says God is love. And it come it still comes with just I'm going to harp on the word confidence again. I knew it's you were going to bring that up. Because I, it is. Because it's the confidence of, of, it's the confidence. I don't even have to think about trust no. right. anymore. It's just, mm -hmm. it's not part of a, of a recognition here because it's, it's an, an, an ache. You know, it's become in, totally incorporated. And it's not like, uh, uh, how do you even have to, rec you have to acknowledge it because mm -hmm. it just is. It is. So thank you for that, Nadira. Paul, you wanted to uh, add something? Yes, I th I think when you um, when you go into the divine will, you have um, really to you need trust that uh, if you make uh, if you fuse with with the divine will with Jesus, if you make your acts in it, that it's really true, you know. And for this, you need trust. And Jesus says on twenty of August, nineteen thirty. My daughter, in my will, there are all possible goods, and it's necessary for the soul who lives in it to be in it with trust, operating as the owner together with me. I think we need trust that it's it's happening, you know, that you are owner together with Jesus. And you never if you don't trust it, you can't uh, live it, live in the divine world. Oh, that's absolutely correct. <clears throat> uh, anybody else on uh, on the Zoom world there like to offer something up? Yes. Can okay. you guys hear? Yeah. Oh, hi. Um, another thing is is that um, with the trust, we will also. Um, be preparing to understand more, you know, because it's a journey and it's going, we're going to be in this ebb and flow of living in the divine will until our, until our death, until our physical death here. And if we're not understanding or not feeling, we just give it right back to him and ask for more ability to receive more from him. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's 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 a nat to me at least it's a natural flow, uh, uh, and, and it just happens in in that in in that you know I think we in the past we've used the term you know the more you the more you want to learn from this the more you get the more you get 
the more you want to learn, the more you learn. So that is just uh, what you described to me, at least, is that that natural cycle of how he expands our interiors with, or how the knowledge that he provides to us expands our interiors um, because he says, how many times does he say, Chris Louisa says, why don't you just do it? Or why don't you just mm-hmm. give me or give them all of it? And he says, they can't take it all. So you have to grow and expand. And that's what these, the obviously like meetings like today, and most importantly, reading the readings um, helps to accomplish. And so correspondence, you, you, you correspondence, yeah, correspondence. more grace. Absolutely. And, mm-hmm. and it, you know, and, and we also know that that goes on, it's going to go on beyond death. It's, it's an always, it's an ever learning um, cycle that we will, we will be in regardless of the state of this side or that side of death, where there will still be things he's going to teach us because he said, even Adam, you know, Adam didn't know everything. He, he there was more for him to be, to be taught. And so, uh, the same, the same is for us. And, 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 and to Hange's point, trust is, uh, again, it becomes a non-issue because you just know that's what's going on. It, it's, it's again, it's part of the, that's what is or what is. Sure. Remember, the other thing you say, this isn't about making you holy. This gift isn't about making you, no. I don't want to say it like that. This gift isn't about making you a saint. No, because a saint is for redemption. Yeah. This gift is to is the holy of all holy. It's the prodigy of, of all prodigies. Right. So when we read things as the, the previous reading of, of Divine Mercy, Divine Mercy was, you know, a chaplet. And it's the Sunday after Easter, so forth. But then you understand it on a whole on the on the celestial level of divine mercy. And it's what everybody has just said, but it's the more correspondence to and you want to correspond more because you're trusting more. You're going to correspond more because you are understand that mercy is deeper than just one level. That's just about forgiveness of sins. It's it's very deep. And, and it's the correspondence takes you there. Level. No, none of this is. No. But the correspondence takes you, takes you, right? Because you are by grace, but you are by nature. Well, you're going to keep growing into grace. You're always going to keep growing into grace. Because their nature is what? Mm-hmm. Infinite. <laughs> Eternal and perfect. So you become by grace, but they are by nature. It means that you're going to become infinite amount of graces. Mm-hmm. The more correspondence, the more you receive. That's what, anyways, let's go on to the next reading. The next reading is December the 20th, 1912. December 20, 1912. This is what Paula just said. Who would like to read this? I'll read. Jesus gives everything he owns to one who lives in the divine will. He gives everything he owns. Why? He's the all. <laughs> uh, Jesus gives everything he owns to one who lives in the divine will, so as not to deny anything to himself. There are no judgments. Can we stop one second? Just, know. just the logic of that again to help create the picture or paint the picture is one who operates, one who operates in the divine will as he. Is he, and he uses the word lives here, he means operate. You know, he uses the word lives kind of back and forth. The, but, but the point being is that, that you are operating in the divine will. You're operating in the divine will. Jesus is operating in you. So by definition, he, 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 if he doesn't give anything, if he doesn't give anything, if he doesn't, if he doesn't give everything, maybe that's a better way to say it. If he doesn't give everything. <laughs> He he he's not given he's not given to himself and he has to give to himself. He's, he's denying easy. himself. Right? Yes, yes, and that's what it says. But that's the right. like the just the kind of the, the logical technical thing of what's what what I heard in that. So there are no judgments for the soul who lives in His will. Rather, she has the right to judge. Difference between the divine will and His and His love. Difference between the divine will and His love. It seemed that during these past days, my always adorable Jesus wanted to speak about his holy will. All right, this is volume 11. So as we said, volume 9, 1 through 10 is the virtues and so forth. So she's, it's divine will and and 
this is like a whole change of what he starts talking to Luis about. So she says, it seemed that during these past days, my always adorable Jesus wanted to speak about his holy will. He came, said a few words, and then went away. I remember that once he told me. My daughter, I feel the obligation to give my virtues, my beauty, my strength to one who lives in my world. In a word, everything that I am. If I did not give it to her, I would deny it to myself. Another time as I was reading about how terrible the judgment is and remaining very saddened, my sweet Jesus told me, my daughter, why do you want to sadden me? And I, I do not intend to sadden you, but myself. And he, how don't you want to understand the displeasure, sadness, and anything else that a soul who does my will may suffer fall upon me? And I feel them as though they were mine. I can say to one who does my will, laws are not for you. There are no judgments for you. Rather, one who does my will, instead of being judged, acquires the right to judge others. And then he added, the good will of the soul in doing good is power over my heart. This power exercises so much hold on me that through its play, it forces me to give her whatever she wants. <clears throat> I was thinking, what does Jesus like the most? Love or his will? <laughs> and Jesus, my will must come before everything. Look at yourself. You have a body and a soul. You are made of intelligence, flesh, bones, nerves, but you are not of cold marble. You also contain heat. Therefore, the soul, the intelligence, the body, the flesh, the bones, and the nerves must be my will. And the heat you contain is love. Look at the flame, the fire. The flame, the fire must be my will. While the heat produced by the flame and fire is love. Therefore, in all things, the substance must be my will. The effects, love. Both of them are so connected together that one cannot be without the other. So the more substance in my will the soul contains, the more love she produces. Is that not the Holy Trinity living inside of you? Mm -hmm. Producing the uncreated love? It also brings up purgatory too. That's what I got from that. Explain. Mm -hmm. Well, look at the flame, the fire. The flame, the fire must be my will. All the heat produced by the flame and fire is love. What's purgatory? What are you trying to get rid of? Who are you trying to embrace? Love. The all. Trying to get rid of your human will. And we're trying, we're allowed to do our purgatory for this side sure. of death. So anything with heat is trying to change into something else. Right. Right. I think that heat just the opposite. It's still being cold as marble. Right. You're warm and loving. Right, because he's trying to change you into all love. So he's trying to take, burn your will into his, which is all love. We're not all love. You hurt my feelings. Now I'm mad at you. But if we become all love, like we talked about before, Father, forgive them. For they do not know what they're doing. Then if we become all love and we become him with everything he owns, we become the all, then we are all love. By that I see. And you're comparing it to... The Holy Spirit coming down at Pentecost and sure. in the upper room, like burning, yeah. I mean, burning, burning the knowledge, the fire, burning yes. the love, burning, changing something into something else. Fire changes okay. things into yeah, something it else. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And I think you can also use this as an example, visual, another visual, another visual, and that that, that 
And that is, you know, to me, that is, he's talking about fire, he's using fire as an example. The fire is burning, the fire, the fire is acting, the fire is alive, it's working. Just like when we are operating in the divine will, we are active, we are working, we are operating in the form of, of that's the same way the fire is. It's all operating in the divine will. And therefore, that's what we're doing. But therefore, for someone looking at us, the effect of us operating in that way, what do we emit? Right. We emit heat. Well, like the fire emits heat. God has said that I am love. That's all I am, is love. And I, when I work, I emit love. So I think that's the visual also he's trying to convey, which is um, here's what it looks like for someone operating in the divine will. And don't you feel it? You, we, you, you feel people that have different auras. You can sense different things, sometimes not so good because they, sure. they admit what they are. But, it, but, but in, the divine, in operating in the divine will, there's a, a strength in that omnipotence that he's likening to the word he. You can feel it. It's it's a it's tangible. In, in that regard. I, that's how that's how and I. And that fire has it. changed in us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the fire. If you say that fire is how I operate, it's how, it, the, the fire is operating. What, what's its act? Its act is burning wood and converting it into ashes. And I it get I get what shit. you're talking about. Yeah. That. Yeah. But, 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 but we get yeah. This this does change us. This, if you get through. You, we you know he uses the word transubstantiation, and we get trans. But, and so what he said at the very beginning of this makes sense, um, which says, um, maybe, maybe one second, let me find it. Um, um, one who does my will, laws are not for you. Why? Because laws came after the fall. There mm -hmm. were no laws in place at the beginning. And where are we, what is the subtitle of the book? The return of the creature to the order and the place and the purpose. It doesn't mean that you disdain laws. Just to be clear, it doesn't. It, it, it doesn't mean that that you're above the law. It doesn't mean any of those things. It just means you're returning to the order, the place, and the purpose for which we were created. Um, and and it's uh, it, it, it's the I, I think it's the uh, it's the understanding of kind of that's 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 what's happening. That's the reality of what is happening to mm -hmm. us as we as we go. As we go through this and become op operations and children of life. So I talk for the spiritual, the physical, you are wearing the crown of righteousness. Yes. So everything you're doing is producing heat, love, mm -hmm. divine lives, mm -hmm. because you're wearing the crown of righteousness. You would be creating divine lives for souls if you were judging souls, because the humanity would be overtaken mm -hmm. in not love. So the crown of righteousness. I can say to one who does my will, laws are not for you. Well, you're crowned, king of everything. So there are no judgments for you. Rather, the one who does my will, instead of being judged, acquires the right to judge others. The other word for righteousness is, is judgment, justice. Justice and righteousness are the two same. So instead of being judged, acquires the right to judge others he would not give you the ability to judge others if you were not crowned with the with the crown of righteousness knowing that you're judging him with his his him him right him, yeah us, together. About my him. fiat who's judging my fiat yeah. you you have full knowledge of the fall of adam what are you judging who's the battle against your fellow brother your sister no, no. Yeah, and you know that's a, a you want to talk about a an outcome of this cynical today for me? Um, think about that. What you just said. We will automatically want to say we are able to judge others. Now I can judge you because I'm operating in divine will. That's not what it means. No, that's not what it means. It's not that I am a, or that I am a judge. I'm going to judge like God judges when He comes on the judgment day. That's not he the judgment come. is. Well, he would come to judge the living and the dead, but the judgment becomes what Mary talked about at the very beginning. When, you know, when, what did Jesus say? Forgive them for they know not what to do. That's the judgment Correct. That, that, that's being discussed. And what happens after that judgment is the, 
the piece of, of what of how you react to that situation right. and how you do it. So that's a, but the, you're talking a high about, level definition yeah. of that word judgment. But it's also higher. an understanding of it. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Right. What did he just said? Instead of being judged, requires the right to judge others. He is coming again in you to judge the living and the dead. The only ones who, who go into the eternal fire would be the demons. <coughs> who do you want to go to? No one. No one. You know, it's the stripping of yourself. I don't care what the world is telling me. It's full of lies. That is my brother or my sister. And we were all formed in the womb of God together. By light and love. And that's what we admit. Exactly. Not judgment. So to Mel's point, this isn't something you don't you don't walk around, I'm judging you. You know, you it's, it's a not different, even, it's it's not a different even definition there, of the right? word judge. Yeah. Yeah. A, Righteousness. It, it is a it is a um it, it is a higher level celestial reality of the word judge that is that is not intended like we want to think of judgment how somebody's judging us and we're judging them the world it's, it's not at the terrestrial it's at the celestial level. he tells us in the writing when you enter into the celestial you have memory of nothing you know when they're walking around in heaven it's not john the baptist carrying his head on the planet like see what herod did to me it's just it's gone your memory will and intellect have all become the divine will and so your memory and intellect is all of heaven it's all celestial Well, we've got one more reading about the crown of righteousness. Does everybody, oh my gosh, have this crown? May right? 2, 1915. What's it they're reading this week? And um, um, I, I don't know, it, was the earth, it was the first reading. Didn't, didn't, didn't God give Abraham the crown of righteousness? Did that, oh, remember the, reading that from the, right. no, from, from the readings, the, the Catholic readings this week? This week, is it this week or last week? I seem to remember that. I'll find it. Mass we'll reading. Talk about it. Yeah, mass reading. Seem to remember him talking, talking about it. We can look it up. And maybe that's the crowning when he moved him from Abram to Abraham. Well, he is the he is the father of faith. Right. Yeah. And as you said, that's the covenant. His name changed yeah. as the covenant of faith. May second, nineteen fifteen. Everybody there? Mm -hmm. All right. Johnny, want to turn read? The or? Oh, sure. Turn the camera. Turn the camera. Turn the camera. Turn the camera. Treasure this reading. Okay. Pain sorrow. Pain sorrow. Pain sorrow. Pain sorrow. this reading. Pains of Jesus because of the chastisements. May 2nd, 1915. May 2nd, 1915. Is that what everybody else has? totally different. Ooh, what? Than... Yours is sad. <laughs> no, mine is yours. Yeah. This, I'll keep going. You read, you yeah, read keep yours going, and stop. Going, stop. Yeah, it's going to be hard for me to read yours, Mary, because I'm over here. It gets better. Stop at the intro. Uh, That's right. We'll read the intro. The souls yeah. who live in the divine will are the closest to the humanity of Jesus. They live in him and in all creatures and impetrate good for all. That's good. Are we close, Mary? Yeah. One who lives That's in the divine, way. one who lives in the divine yeah. will takes possession of the most holy humanity of Jesus. And just like another Jesus, she can present herself before the divinity to plead for her brothers and sisters. Wow. It's very yeah. similar. Yeah, it it's, is. But it's, it's similar, but it's not. Yeah. Similar, but it's. Yeah. <laughs> I like mine better. I like mine a lot better. more celestial than yours. <laughs> yeah. We're not very sure. Yeah. We haven't I'm graduated sure. to the, <laughs> the graduate just, level course. I'm just glad I get to read them long now. That's right. Yes. <laughs> Instead of That's right. skipping and then going yeah. back yes. up and skipping down and going back up. So, whichever oh. translation this one is, it's what I I'm like reading. It. So, Go, John. my days are more and more so very bitter. This morning, my sweet Jesus came in such a state of suffering that it cannot be described. I'm seeing him suffer so much. I would have wanted to give him any, give him relief at any cost. Not knowing what to do, I pressed him to my heart and drawing near his mouth with mine, I tried to suckle part of his interior bitterness, but nothing. No matter how hard I tried to suckle, nothing would come out. I returned to my efforts, but it was all in vain. 
Jesus was crying, and I too was crying and seeing that I could not alleviate his pain in any way. What a cruel torment. Jesus was crying because he wanted to pour his bitterness into me, but his justice prevented him from doing it. I was crying and seeing him cry, and because I could not help him, and because I could not help him. These are pains which no words can describe. Then, sobbing, Jesus told me, My daughter, sin snatches, scourges, and wars from my hands. I am forced to allow them. And at the same time, I cry and suffer with the creature. I felt I was dying for the pain, and Jesus, wanting to distract me, added, My daughter, do not lose heart. This too is in my will, because only the souls who live in my will can confront my ju- <clears throat> excuse me, can confront my justice. Only those who live in my volition have, a- have free access to share in the divine decrees and plea for their very brothers, for their brothers. Those who dwell in my will are the ones who possess all the fruits of my humanity, because my humanity has, has its limits, while my will has no limits. And my humanity lived in my will, immersed in it, inside and out. Now the souls who live in my will are the closest to my humanity, making my humanity their own because I gave it to them. They can present themselves before the divinity as invested with it like another me, and they can disarm divine justice and impetrate scripts of forgiveness for the perverted creatures. Since they live in my will, they live in me. And since I live in everyone, they also live in everyone and for the good of all. They live hovering in the air like sun in their prayers, acts, reparations, and everything they do are like rays which descend from them for the good of all. Mm -hmm. Doesn't sound as happy as. No, it's pretty much the same as ours. Yeah. Yours had a brighter introduction. Yeah, your introduction. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I do have a Bible verse here. Um, I can tell when I listen to Francis and I'm doing something or I'm actually sitting down listening to Francis and reading along. Um, so, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You I could have to set highlight a scripture time, on the yeah. side. Otherwise, I can tell when I'm wax cleaning the floor or something. Okay, so at the end here says, since they live in my will, they live in me. So she did John chapter 14, verses 20 to 21, which says, on that day, you will realize that I am in my father and you are in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me, and whoever loves me will be loved by my father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. I don't think he'll do what? 20 to 21. Thank you. I'm assuming, guessing, prayer, request. Commandment does not mean commit the Ten Commandments. No. Okay, then I have another one at the end, John 15, 7 to 8. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. That's, that's that mercy one, that trust in his mercy. I love when you can look at scripture and say, it's always been there. Mm-hmm. No, unveiled, unveiled for us to understand it. And yeah. still being yeah. unveiled. Yeah. That public. I'm thrilled that we have a cynical on Saturday morning where we can come and discuss scripture in light of these writings and understand it. Because yes. if you're reading it on your own, you have nobody to celebrate it with. Right. And that's what he wants us to do is to joyfully we made proclaim yeah. yes. this with others who yes. are called to the field. I agree. Because I gave it to them, they can present themselves before the divinity being covered by it, like another me. So that's June 15th, 1916, or is it June 16th, 1915, where you are to cover yourself in his means. Wow. Wow. 
There's no. E.T.'s coming. The yeah. crown of thorns. His the tears. His embitter his tongue. Everything that she just did here, right? Mm -hmm. uh, your soul with his blood. Your body with his wounds. Your hands and feet with his nails. And he says, "What you." Trust yourself with me. You can present yourself to the divinity and anything that you ask will be given to you. This is just another one of those readings where she, uh, you want to you want to snatch those chastisements, you want to snatch those wars that are happening. To the light, you better be going in front of the divinity and asking for it. But then also know that it's part of it as well. And it's also, it's a, it's a different, but it's also a, a, a great way Again, of him talking about what's the word I want to use? Um, the range, maybe, and the interrelationships of the divine will, and how when he talks about you can repair or ask for another person, it's because you 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 have the ability to get to that other person because we are in Jesus. Jesus is in everything. Therefore, what he is in, we are in. And what mm -hmm. he is in is also in us. So it's that whole description of the interrelationship of what the divine will is and how immense it is. I always, I, I sometimes use it in my mind the example of the, think of the ocean, right? And how big and immense the ocean is. And if you take one drop of water, one drop of water, and you drop it in there. So that one drop of water is, is me or you mm -hmm. or whoever. That one drop of water drops in the ocean, becomes part of the ocean. And by, by faith and then by trust and then by love, you know that, that however God accomplishes it, that one drop of water becomes part of the atomic structure of every every drop of water that's in the ocean and for whatever, you know, whatever mm -hmm. small we mentally we might think it is, it nonetheless is part of every other drop of water yeah. in that ocean. And, it is and by virtue, every, by virtue of that, every other drop of water is part of that one drop. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the immensity of all of this. And you but could never also, go in there and take out that drop and you of can't, water. Once, once that water is in there and once the fusion you is there, there is, out. You can't take that initial drop in because that drop is not immersed by everyone. Right. Just like nor does that water, water want to be pulled into the cup of his blood. You right. can once that priest puts that that's our participation, right? Into the cup of his blood. You can never take out that little drop of water. Right. I also understand that that is infinite, eternal, and perfect. This is all complete. We're actually living, mm -hmm. we're living it now in time, but it's complete. So because of your acts, your trust, your believing, you being crowned with the crown of righteousness, God sees every single soul as a little child that he created. I want you to ponder that. You've done it. You did it. You said yes. So he's not looking down and worried about some war or something else. He's seeing every single soul as a little child as he created that soul to be. That is the gift. That's what Christ did when he redeemed us. And that is what sanctification is accomplishing as well. So it is, it's, um, I was almost going to say it's hard because I don't know what other word, terrestrial words say, but you live in the world where everybody's talking about all the stuff that's going on and you're like, it's, God doesn't see that. He's not seeing that. I mean, that's, you're already in the celestial. It's done. That's the mystical part of this, that we have to know it's done. So when she's saying, you know, she's seeing this, he's describing my daughter's sin, snatch, chastisements, and wars from my hands. Right. So he says, sins, snatch, chastisements, and wars from my hands. It's already done. He, in the garden of Gethsemane, he saw every single sin. There's not a new sin that he mm -hmm. did not mm -hmm. see or experience 
So wars and chastisements are paid for. for. So wars and chastisements were already snatched from his hands. These aren't new. So these are not new. These are not something like, oh oh my gosh, I can't believe. Mm -hmm. What? No. Those they were sent them from Mm -hmm. when? From the fall of Adam. Privy knows what's going on and what has been happening. Well, it all happened. Otherwise, otherwise he can't. Did it he, all could have, he could have okay. have died, so died for all sins if he didn't know what all yes, sins yes, were. And didn't it all happen in the womb of God in all eternity, he says, and then when he wanted to, he played it, it he dropped it, and it's playing out in time. You're living it in time, right. but you're living it in time of the celestial, not of the terrestrial. <laughs> the rest of the world who don't have the knowledge of the unveiling of this are living it within their time of the terrestrial. Mm-hmm. So my daughter sin snatched chastisements and wars from my hands. I am forced to allow them. He is forced. He is forced. And at the same time, I cry and suffer with the creature. At the same time, time, in time, I am crying with the creature. There's nothing I can do. Sin snatched him from my hand. When did sin snatch us from his hand? The fall of Adam. If you understand the fall of Adam, you understand that this is when this was all declared. This is he knew how dark it was going to get. And therefore, in order to. uh, I don't want to say in order to. That's the wrong words. He knew how the fall of Adam, the fall of Adam, how bad the fall of Adam was. Chastisements and wars from my hands. Sin snatched them. They snatched them. What is sin? Satan, evil, snatched them, took them, loves them. Satan loves to see people, see people suffer because he thinks that he can tempt people when they're in their suffering. But it's actually when people are in their suffering that they cry out to God. So even then, when Jesus is suffering on the cross and he says, Father, forgive them for they know not what they're doing, is the time that he crushed the head of Satan in the middle of a person's chastisement and wars and they're suffering and, and they're saying to Jesus, forgive me for what I did and calling out to God. What are they doing? They're crushing the head of Satan. I felt like dying for the pain and Jesus wanting to distract me at it. My daughter, don't lose heart. This too is in my will. Because only the souls who live in my will can confront my justice. Only those who live in my volition have free access to share in the divine decrees. Divine decrees can plead for their brothers. But what are you pleading for? Not their terrestrial bodies. You are pleading for their souls. What? That's what I ask people. And it sounds horrible. I don't even know. Take it to what I'm trying to say. They're going to pass away. So what do you care how they're passing away as long as their souls are going back to the order, purpose, and place for which they were created? We know the bodies are going to resurrect. They're all going to become light. So if you die because of war, because of cancer, or because of whatever, your concern is to dress yourself in the armor of God, in, into the humanity of God, stand before divine justice, and plead for your brothers and sisters. That's the crown of justice. That's the crown of righteousness that you have gained by saying yes to living in the divine will. Only those who live in my volition have free access to share in the divine decrees and plead for their brothers. Well, what does a king of his kingdom do? He pleads for his kingdom. Who is our kingdom? Well, you're in every single soul. Guess what? That's your kingdom in every single soul. Just as every single soul is God's kingdom, and he just told you I'm in every soul, and you're in every soul, what does the king do? He pleads for his kingdom. You want those souls in heaven with you, because guess what you're going to do when you're in heaven? You're going to play all those kingdoms. You have gained the crown of righteousness. So let's go get it. Right. Anybody, uh, right. anybody on Zoom want to add to that?
Yeah, we probably should because we got to start into the Crown mm -hmm. of Glory the next one, so we should wait till next week or whenever. Exactly whenever right. session. Okay. All right. Well, I think like John and I were mumbling, I, I, but we probably are at a good stopping point today uh, yeah. before we get into the next crown, which is uh, the Crown of Glory. I don't know if it's glory uh, or wait exaltation. Wait a minute, no, you're outside. It's exaltation. You said you had changed the I'm sorry. Crown. I think it's exaltation. I think you exalt yeah, the crown, yeah, crown that's right. and then it's the crown of glory. The righteous exalt and then glory. Um, all right. Well, let's uh, thank, well, thank you, Mary, again for putting all this together for, uh, for us to go through over these several weeks and for the next couple of weeks. Um, but I think we're to the point we can probably call if anybody else this day. And, Else? The kingdom. Anybody else? Anyone else has any comments? Okay. Well, right. then in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. It's the sins of the supreme will. Come to reign upon the earth. It's the sins of the supreme will. Come to reign upon the earth. It's the sins of the supreme will. Come to reign upon the earth. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And if the will of the Father be known to the Son by the power of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. All right. Well, thanks everybody for joining us both here and on the on the Zoom call. And for anybody that uh, finds us out on YouTube, glad you uh, spent time with us today. We'll look forward to seeing you next time. And before we wind up, anybody again out on Zoom like to add uh, add anything or ask a question or 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 just make a comment, either or anything. Give you opportunity. Okay. Well, we'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks Bye. so much. Bye. Bye. Have a great Thank week, you. guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.